This new research paper presents Rebased, which is a novel architecture for subquadratic attention computation. For this model, the researchers have analyzed the base architecture and proposed to develop it even further by using polynomial kernels with learnable parameters and adding normalization before the kernel evaluation. If you go through the paper, there are a lot of nuggets which are scattered throughout it. For example, while incorporating layer normalization into model training, which was attempted previously, their method integrates this normalization directly into kernel function. With this simple architectural change, they have achieved results that outperformed based on MQAR and language model with pile dataset tasks. Moreover, in their experiments which were conducted on much more complicated MQAR setups than those used in the base uh, blog post, there are a lot of examples in um, this paper. For example, base conducted experiments on 16 pairs with a sequence length of 256 whereas they have used 64 pairs. They have additionally included experiments on sequence length 128 and 16 QK pairs to demonstrate that RWKV can achieve decent accuracy only when dealing with such simple tasks. Now, they have also analyzed representation of rebased, based and vanilla attention modules and concluded that rebased resembles attention more than based. Notably, while based uses a Taylor expansion of an exponential function, a rebased kernel function is different from the exponent but shows better performance. Their research suggests that using a second order polynomial might be insufficient for the best performance and indicates that more sophisticated learnable kernel could be utilized to improve the performance of trained modules. Normalization could further improve various kernel functions and this highlights the need for researchers to revisit classical kernel-based methods with the goal of enhancing their adaptability and efficiency. Also in this paper, their findings reveal a significant disparity in handling the MQAR task between attention-based models and others such as based, specifically as sequence length increases. Attention models excel on longer sequences, significantly outperforming their non-attention counterparts. These results highlight the necessity of further research into strategies that could bridge this gap in order to reach the performance of attention-based methods. Now, there are few limitations to around this. For example, these experiments are limited to, limited to academic scale models. This does pose certain limitations, particularly in extrapolating the findings to larger models, especially the closed source one. However, given the resource constraints, the results still provide valuable insights into the potential efficacy of their method. I'll drop the link in video's description. Have a read through. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think that this linear transformer is going to replace the transformer architecture which is used by almost every other model? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed, Please share it among your network as it helps. Thanks for watching.